Hey guys, welcome back. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank all my all my new subscribers and uh, thanks for all the comments and the thumbs up you guys have been giving me. Um, the last couple of weeks have been quite interesting. Um, last about a week and a half ago, I started to notice um, some cyanobacteria on my sand bed and on some of my live rock, and I was a little concerned because this is the first time I have since starting this hobby, you know. Nine, nine months ago or ten months ago that I've really had any serious, serious issue like that. Um, so, um, of course, I went back to all my readings and all my videos and, you know, checked out on YouTube, um, a bunch of videos, rather, uh, to see how to, you know, combat this. And um, part of my issue was I was going away last weekend uh, to my niece's graduation um, down south and I was going to be away for like five or six days and I just didn't want my tank to run amok for five or six days and let the cyan just, you know, cover everything. I mean, it was pretty much the entire sand bed um, in the front of the display tank was pretty much covered and it was starting to cover some of the um, zoas and um, some of the other coral that was there as well as the live rock so um, I checked with my local fish store and I was able to pick up some Seachem Fosgard and I put that in the media bag and just stuffed that um, in, a, in one of my back chambers in, you know, in one of the high flow areas and you know then I went away for four or five days and when I came back um, the tank was uh, pretty much cleared up um, or rather I should say the cyana was pretty much gone there was still some traces of it but it wasn't you know really as bad as it was before you know with the hairy stuff purple stuff reddish brown or whatever just you know waving in the current um, so I decided at that point after watching a couple of uh, uh, New York Stilo videos to um, to pick up a Fosban 150 and some GFO so as you can see I have that set up now um, it's on the left side of the tank um, and I have that set up with a MaxiJet 600 and I'm really not that quite happy with the MaxiJet 600 I may, I'm getting ready to go out in a little while and pick up a 400 um, and the problem that I'm having is that I believe that with you know this particular media it doesn't require a lot of tumbling in the chamber so um, uh, the when I turn on the ball valve and I you know I'm trying to restrict the flow from the pump um, um, it restrict the water flow rather from the pump the um, the level at which it seems like the media is just tumbling perfectly um, it makes a noise at the pump, you know, at the pump. It's like a buzzing sound that's really, really annoying. So I'm, I'm hoping that if I go out and just buy a, you know, a smaller pump, like the 400 that has lesser flow, you know, I can open up that valve more and, um, and then it'll be quiet. Um, so that's what I'm shooting for. But as you can see, um, I believe the Fosgard, you know, in the media bag did pretty well. Um, I still have to figure out what's going on, you know, how I got the cyano to begin with, whether, you know, I was overfeeding the tank or what, I, you know, I didn't think I was, or was it, you know, like some change that, you know, took place in the tank that I wasn't aware of, um, you know, somehow, you know, whether it was a nitrate buildup or or something happened. I, I don't know what. It's just you know, like one day, with, you know, my tank was clear, and then the next day I start seeing these little spots all over the place, and then a couple of days later than that, you know, uh, the shag carpeting. So um, that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna pop another video up in a little while to you know, I guess give you guys a close up of my Fosban reactor and how I have it set up in my chambers, and um, and you know hopefully I'll get a little better performance or rather a more silent performance um, from the MaxiJet 400. So that's it for now. Oh, by the way, I didn't lose anything. Everything seems to be fine. All my coral and all my fish and everything seem to be fine. So um, I'm grateful to that. <laughs> that's it. Uh, I will follow up with another video shortly. Take care.